you're experiencing the darkest night of your soul, I mean, when you are dealing with uh, trauma and grief, it's it's a blessing to just have relief, yeah. and and I definitely felt relief, and it was it was it was pretty much permanent going forward. I got more relief in two hours than I had in the previous 30 years with traditional medicine. Got triggered one day and oriented myself to the helicopter and just started tapping. And, and ever since then it's like, you know, I, I could walk up the one and get in one and take a ride in it now and it wouldn't bother me. That day changed everything for every teacher, every child, and every parent. People that are in uh, tra traumatic situations, even in Newtown, they just don't know how to get it out. We're tr trained to handle whatever comes our way, and then, especially being a man, you know, and move on from there. That was the hardest, because I knew he was feeling it, but he couldn't show it. And now he's just this completely different person, and it's wonderful. And I can't thank God enough for what happened. As a trauma survivor, I didn't know that the symptoms could really be alleviated permanently. I now believe that that's true, and I think it's true because of tapping. I think the opportunity here is not only to heal Newtown, not only to come in and say, what can we do to help this town, but also to establish a model for something different in the future, to establish a new form of relief effort, a new form of humanitarian aid that says, let's really address the trauma here. I do believe that having this, <laughs> I keep calling it a gift of tapping, it just helps release that anxiety, creates a space of what a school is supposed to be to allow learning to happen without the worry, without the, the trauma of what might happen next. JT has developed a connection with these kids in Rwanda in a way that is, is simply astonishing. JT was unwilling to go back to school and, uh, and it wasn't until Lori set up a Skype call between the Project Light Ambassadors in Rwanda and JT. They spoke to each other, they did tapping together and JT was transformed. I mean transformed to the point where he went back to school the next day. Um, I am going to be sending Betty to university. <laughs> he vowed that he would raise money to help send them to university. And two months later, today, he raised enough money to send one of our ambassadors to university. And today on Skype, he announced that take solace in the fact that healing can happen, that true healing at levels that are just sometimes unimaginable or difficult to understand can happen. It makes me calmer like before a test, if I'm really anxious, I just tap or meditate and then I feel a whole lot better. After we tap we're all focused and we're all like concentrating on our schoolwork which really helps. There's a noticeable difference in the room after the kids have tapped and then they engage in an assignment because um, the kids are functioning as one as a class and there's a buy-in that doesn't exist in other classes where uh, maybe the tapping isn't, isn't going on. You guys reached out to me when I had no one. And I don't know what to say except thank you. I appreciate it all. You changed our lives and it's perfect. I don't know what else to say. Thank you.